Welcome to Track and Field by Chico, where we give you news, uh, views, reviews, and interviews. Here are reviews of just ended our World Championship Games that were held in Oregon. To begin with, Ferdinand Omanyala arrived three hours to the 100 meter hits. Well, he did participate in the games, but well, you know the jet lag, traveling economy for 18 hours straight and still making to the semi finals. That was commendable, that was really epic, and still running world class times. As usual, Marcel Jacobs chickened out again like he did in Nairobi and the Prefontaine Classics. According to his team, he suffered a thigh injury. Well, quick recovery to Marcel. Moving on, the men's 100 meters was something else. It was won in a time of 9.8 by Fred Kali, who is also the fastest man in the year 2020 in a time of 9.76 seconds. This is what Kali said. Yeah, it was a good, nice competition. On to the next one. Nairobi is, is good, excellent. Yeah. Yes. Can you just tell before you go, in the, in the Olympic Games, you, you got the silver uh -huh. You went to World Championship. Gold medals. Gold. <laughs> and it was a USA clean sweep in the men's 100 meters, headed by Fred Kelly, Marvin Bracey, Trayvon Bromel. Curly's done it! What a moment for the 400 meter man! Did you meet a gold medalist? As well, a I walked on at junior college. I said I was going to do some great things at junior college. I speak crazy things. And I think I'm still speaking crazy things. Mm -hmm. Then, Dave, if you believe in yourself, I got to this point and I believe in myself and I'm world champion. Talk to me about the relationship with your coach, Alain Francis. You've been with him for a while, right? Mm -hmm. What is that relationship like? Well, uh, he crazy. I'm crazy. I think we work good together. In the women's 100 meters, Team Jamaica swept the 1-2-3 positions, that's the gold, silver and bronze. And it was led by none other than Shelly and Fraser Price, who won in a time of 10.67 seconds, putting a record for the games and clinching his fifth world title in the games. In the 200 meters, Shelly and Fraser also was spotted making her hair in the middle of the race. Check out this video. She was literally making her hair during the race and still won her heat to proceed in the finals. She is truly a world class act. Speaking of Shelly's hair, after every race she ran at the World Championship Games in Oregon, she had a different hairstyle from pink to orange to green. Well, need I say more? She is a world class athlete. Sharika Jackson, who also won gold in the 200 meters, posted the second fastest time ever in the 200 meter event in a time of 21.45 seconds. The 4x100 meters team won silver, whereby Sharika Jackson of Jamaica split a time of 9.66 seconds in the anchor leg to win silver for Jamaica. The women's USA team won gold. Abby Steiner ran a staggering 9.86 seconds in her leg. Moving on, the women's 100 meter hurdles, the 25 year old Nigerian lady Toby Amosan broke the world record at the semi finals at a time of 12.12 seconds. An hour later, she broke the record again, only for it to be wind assisted and it was not ratified. She won her first gold at the World Championship Games. The 400 meters, Jonathan Jones from Barbados became the first Barbadian to get to the finals of the World Championships and this is what he had to say. And a sense of relief. What, what's the relief about? Uh, last year I only made it to the semifinals of the Olympics and a big thing for me is like progressing just every year to go a little farther every year. So making a final is just I guess a correction for history and then going forward, try to keep going even more every time I run. The women's 800 meters was a class of its own. Mary Mora from Kenya won a bronze medal and set her personal best of 156.71 seconds. Hawkson of Britain came in second, setting a season's best of 156.38 seconds. And the winner was none other than a thin move of the United States in a time of 156. 30 seconds 
Remember, I think Mu has not lost any outdoor race at any distance since September of 2019, and she's only 20 years old. Amazing. But in second, Keely Hodgkinson was also 19. So, oh God, yeah. last but not least is the long distance 10,000 meters men, which was won by Chapter Gay of Uganda. But the silver was not an easy win. For Stanley Mboro, he was tripped, fell down, injured his leg, got way back in the pack, fought his way up, and won a silver in a time of 27 27 seconds. Oh. Well, that's all folks, stay tuned for more videos, please don't forget to leave a like and as always, peace.